everybody. We're going to make two pots of white chicken chili. One pot regular for company and one pot, pot vegetarian. And I've got each, um, I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. Jamie's asleep and so I don't have my cameraman tonight. So I'm doing it all by myself. Just chopped it up with my Tupperware little chopper. Let me turn this one down. Okay. We have got, this is um, vegetarian. I'm on my laptop and I do not know how to do this. In the pot, each pot, I have got um, two tablespoons of olive oil, and each one got a chopped onion. And we're just going to saute them a little bit in each pot. Yes, I think he come and put a new modem in, and I'm hoping it fixed the, um, oh, okay, yeah. There's the one for the vegetarian style. Of course, I had that pan a little bit too hot. And then there's the regular white chicken chili. Cameraman's asleep. He didn't sleep good last night, and he got up early this morning, and then he said, I can't do it. I've got to take a nap. So, we're, we're all by ourselves today. Okay. When your onion gets sauteed in your pot for about two to three minutes, then what we're going to do is we're going to put in... Um, two cans. I'm using Great Northern. You can use cannellini. Um, two cans per pot. Each can is 15.5 ounce. And I drained all of its juices and rinsed them good and drained it again. So, beans go in the pot. beans if you like a lot of beans. Um, you can do three or four cans, however you want. We're also going to put in some minced garlic, about one or two cloves worth into each pot. And of course, you know, on the vegetarian, I'm going to put extra garlic because me and Jamie loves it. So just one or two cloves worth in the Regular one. So I'll show you again. Let me stir it up a bit. Here is our vegetarian one. And then stir the regular. Then here is our regular one. Okay. Each pot gets one to two cans of chopped or diced green chilies. You hit mild, hot, or medium. Um, each can is four ounces. So, in the regular, I'm not going to put much because um, the other Sarah can't handle a lot of spice. So, 
I'm just going to put in two, two or three spoons worth. And then um, I'll put one hand, one whole can in the vegetarian. Or if you don't like chilies, you can chop up a jalapeno and put it in. Okay, now we need to put in um, some regular chicken broth for the regular one. You want four to five cups. I'm going to add a little bit more water in this one to make it um, five cups. And then I might, I think I'm going to add a couple chicken bouillons to the regular, to the regular one. Because it was homemade chicken broth and it wasn't as chickeny. You know, I tasted it. Sometimes I still do chicken broth and beef broth. I, um, when I got my rotisserie chicken today from the grocery store, uh, we picked it all, all off, all the meat, and put it separate, and then put the bones and skins in the pot with the juices that was down in the bag. With the rotisserie chicken and um, cooked it low and slow for about an hour and a half or two. <clears throat> if you don't like this channel, honey, you can just go on off. Now, in the vegetarian one, you're going to put in water. And then I've got my vegetarian style um, chicken bouillon. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let me get a little bit more water. So, same goes for the veger vegetarian style. Four to five cups of vegetarian style chicken broth, or you can use veggie stock. This is what I got at Vegan Essentials a couple months ago, but there's different brands out of vegetarian style broth. I just don't know what I did with my spoon. There we go. And I'm just going to follow the back of the package to the water ratio that I put in my pot. Sometimes if I don't see everybody's comments after the live, I go back and I read. So I can get tips and ideas sometimes people leave. We're also going to put salt and pepper to taste in both pots. Um, I'm not going to put as much in the regular chicken chili because that chicken bouillon is always real salty. Because we can always adjust it and add more, but if you put too much in, you can't take it out. And then same goes for with our black pepper. Uh, 
Um, let's see, we're going to put in one to two teaspoons of onion powder. Even though we put in the um, chopped onion, I still want to flavor it up. If you don't want to do that, you can totally leave it out. I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of garlic powder. Probably a half a teaspoon. <clears throat> and then we're going to come with our cumin. Our ground cumin. We're going to put about a teaspoon in each pot. Or you could totally do more. Let's see. We're also going to do the same amount with the oregano. And after I get all the spices in the stir, I'll show you what it looks like. This is just dried oregano. One teaspoon to two teaspoons. One teaspoon of chili powder. Even though it's white chicken chili, I always still put a little bit of chi uh, chili powder in. Let me stir. Give it a stir. The one with the all silver handles is the vegetarian, and the one with the black handles is the regular. And then I'm going to get the rotisserie chicken. And I'm going to, before I do that with the rotisserie chicken, I want to take my Morning Stars um, chicken strips. They're boneless, skinless. I fold them out. I'm going to put them in my chopper. So I want to chop them up a little bit because they're in strips like that. But I want to chop them up a little bit. vegetarian one. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same thing, chop up the rotisserie chicken that we got today in the smaller pieces for the regular one. You can use all the rotisserie chicken for the regular, or half, or however much you want. I put half in here now. Chop up.
There's my top chicken. For the right one. I'll put it in and then I'll figure out if I want it to put in the rest of the chicken. And I think I will put the rest of the rotisserie chicken. Chop it up. And put it in the chili. There's the rest of the chicken for the regular chili, white chicken chili. We're moving right along. There's both chilies. Now, I always put a whole block of eight ounce cream cheese in the chili, um, each pot. Or you could do four ounces, which is a half. It's totally up to you. It makes it extra creamy, or you can leave it out. It's totally your preference. And yes, I am vegetarian right now. The doctor put me on a vegetarian diet to heal my digestive system. I've been on it. This is the fourth month. It is healing really good. But I still eat dairy, cheese, sometimes hard boiled eggs or eggs cooked in like corn. You know, when you bake cornbread, you always put eggs in it. I'm glad you already hopped on. So I'm trying to get this done before my jewelry show tonight. It's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then I've got a link to my paparazzi Facebook page down in the description. It's always there. With every video. Okay. Start this one. You start this one. And then as that cream cheese will melt. To make your white chicken chili really creamy turn it down a little bit There, that's better. Don't worry about all the negative comments that some of them are popping up. That's just nasty trolls. They don't have nothing better in life. 
usually when people are like that nasty and stuff, um, there's usually something tragic that has went on with their life who's turned them that way, you know, nasty. Or sometimes they are jealous of other people doing good in life. It used to bother me, but now it don't bother me at all. So I am just letting this melt. It's going to take a few minutes. And I am going to actually come in and test each pot gets a different spoon. I will taste the regular, just the broth. Here's the vegetarian, just to make sure we got enough salt and pepper in the vegetarian one. Okay, the vegetarian is perfect. Let me taste the regular one of the broth. It needs a little bit more salt. The bullions must not have been as salty as I thought. Okay, our chilies are looking good. I'm going to put a little bit more oregano in the regular one. And a tad bit more cumin. Because I said one to two teaspoons them spices, particular spices. So it's totally up to you how much spice you want in yours. If you want it a little bit hotter, you could put in some cayenne pepper. Or like I said earlier, if you don't like green chilies, diced green chilies, you can totally chop up a jalapeno. Thank you so much for all the kind comments. No, we don't have kids. We have a cat. Um, I want to get into some bread baking. So that might be a... You know, I might do some videos on some making some lovely loaves of bread. Um, doing some old timey recipes um, of some stuff. Cream cheese, there's still about a couple big pieces that ain't mixed in yet. But it'll smooth out. It'll get real creamy. As it melts. I'll give you another look. Well, I don't know how I got that bad. Good shot. There's the veg, the regular, and over here's the vegetarian. <laughs> Thank 
And then it, when some people suggest certain things that you want me to do a video on, I always have a to-do list and it gets added to it. And slowly I'm working my way through it. If it's something me and Jamie can now eat now. Mr. Winter is his name. Yes, I want to make some Irish soda bread. That might be a good recipe to do around St. Patty's Day. The only thing I have been looking for a vegetarian meatloaf recipe, but all of them takes nuts and some of them take seeds, and I can't have any of that. If I have any kind of nuts and seeds, it has to be purely ground like peanut butter creamy style because of my diverticulitis issue so i'm a digging for some recipes if anybody has one of a vegetarian uh, meatloaf um send it my way thank you no i can do cornbread yes i eat cornbread I already had banana bread up on my channel. My two things that I miss so much after going vegetarian to Pimlon Digestive System is chicken and shrimp. Oh, that was my favorite was chicken and shrimp. It's already in the sink. Um, but if you click the link down below um, to my Tupperware page, <clears throat> the one um, to the actual website where you can order, just put in um, Power, Sh uh, Power Chef System, and it'll pull up. You can look at it. And then there's a mini one, a mini version, which is the chop and prep. And this is where you chop a little bit of onion for casserole or chop up um, nuts for dessert if you're going to do nuts. It's good for little things. <clears throat> It's getting looking good. There's cut one more piece that of the cream cheese that's not melted in the regular. I'm kind of smashing it up against the side of the pot to kind of let it start melting a little bit. Okay. We are going to talk about topping options. You put, you ideally your some down a bowl. <clears throat> you can um, chop some cilantro and put on the top a dollop of sour cream, some Monterey Jack cheese or cheddar cheese, and eat it like that. Some people put avocado on top. Some people put corn in, into their. Um, chili but i can't do corn i guess i could have got some corn for the regular one but i didn't think about that um some people eat with crackers some people eat with tortilla chips um it's totally up to you whatever your preference is yes i love avocados um they're so good Um, I think I am going to put it, I did, I did get some cilantro. And I'm just going to chop some in, snip some off, 
and put it a little bit in each pot. Um, probably a couple of tablespoons or more. So I'm just going to take it like this and snip, snip, snip. Okay. There goes the regular, I mean, the vegetarian one. That's enough for it. I'm just going to snip over some, and I'm trying to do it fine. Snips. And that's enough for the regular one. Give it another stir, and then I'll let you see it pot again. There's the regular, and there, with the stainless steel handles, is the vegetarian. No doll, just a cat, one cat. Some people like cilantro, some people don't. If you're not a cilantro fan, cilantro fan, then use a little bit of, um, chopped parsley or leave it out but that's how you make white chicken chili two different kinds one regular white chicken chili and one vegetarian so um white chicken chili all right i'm gonna end this because i gotta get a re ready for company coming and then get ready for my show bye everybody